So someone suggested online a sales tax to fix the budget issues in the state of Alaska. And I was thinking, and someone else I think said something about a tourist tax or that in the past 2009 or something like that, something had happened. But I think, uh, and I was like, shit, you know, that makes a lot of sense. You know, a uh, little bit of research, 2 billion tourists a year in Alaska, huge industry, all my ideas with the university, which is cool and great, but might not be something you could just have a snap of the fingers, you know, or the, or the wave of the governor or the legislator's magic wand implement, or even the university would take a little bit more organizational logistics and economics. But a tax like that is something the legislature could probably uh, act on and would be an immediate and effective thing to do. Now, it might not be really simple and easy to actually get all that money, but if you had the airlines, you had the borders, and uh, I think $20 is totally reasonable. You know, you go into Yellowstone Park, or in Alaska, such a unique state. It's not like it's bordered by other states. It's Canada or Air, so it's uh, or boat. So it's it's something where uh, you know, two billion tourists. Even if you only got half of the people who went in there, even just this summer, uh, you know, even if, let's just say one million you know, 20 bucks times 1 million, you've got quite a bit of money, you know, in your pocket. And uh, you're juxtaposed to North Slope money, they're talking about like 2 billion or something like that. So that to me is your solution. You know what I mean? And maybe there's some sort of law that says you can't do that. I don't know. But on, I was doing a little research, Costa Rica, if you leave Costa Rica, and it doesn't matter if you're a resident or if you're a tourist, you know, you have to pay like $20 or something like that. The airlines collect it. And, uh, you know, I think it would be, it would be, uh, it would be the solution. You know what I mean? And, and for Alaska, I would say if you leave or if you enter, you pay $20. You know, if you go to the gym and sometimes in towns you pay 10 or 15 bucks, Alaska is like, you know, it's a, it's not all the tourists, but just, you know, people go up there and they work in the summer or if they're just, and, and the great way of that plan as a solution is that if you live in Alaska, you don't leave to go on vacation, you're not a tourist, you know, you do not pay that twenty dollars at any point because you're not going out of the country. You know, you're not coming. You're not going out of the state and coming back in. So it's something that actually uh, would not. Would, it, it would not tax or you know even twenty dollars such a nominal amount, but it would not tax or affect in any degree sort of that bottom that bottom uh, one or ten or fifty percent or you know the the working class of Alaska who aren't like you know jetting off to and if they did go to for a vacation in Hawaii twenty dollars if you're going for a vacation in you know Hawaii or California if you're a spring break to Cancun or if you you know you're a college kid and you're going to you know uh, New York City or Vegas or anyone you know if you're leaving the state. And you're, and you're doing that kind of a trip, 20 bucks is something you can afford. So, and, you know, 20 bucks on either way is something you can afford. And I think it's a great, it would be a great contribution, a meaningful and great contribution towards the future and the independence and the, uh, and that, that strengthened, resilient economy for the state of Alaska. So, to me, that, uh, an exit entry tax of like $20 and to have it be like, in a cap and be like, this is going to be the same thing for 10 years or five years. We're not going to negotiate. We're not going to change it from $20 at any point. And, I, you know, I wouldn't want to see it raised above. You know, I wouldn't want to see someone trying to get 50. You know what I mean? So I think I think uh, to go in and out of the state, I think 20 is reasonable. And uh, and it's something that you could implement. I think the Alaska legislator, you know, the, the – uh, uh, Governor, you know, I think that if those people picked up on that idea and made movement on it in terms of laws, you would be able to get cooperation from the people, the state of Alaska at the borders. You would be able to get cooperation from the airlines. And, you know, like I said, you're not going to necessarily get every single fucking thing, excuse me, that went into Alaska, every single person, but you're going to get a lot, even the rest of this summer. What is it, uh, you know, halfway through the summer here in terms of the summer season? Two billion tourists a year. You know, you're going to get twenty bucks a piece. You know, you're going to get a lot, a huge chunk of money if you can make action on that in the next couple of weeks. That, to me, is the solution for the current dilemma for the state of Alaska with the Alaska legislature, the governor, the vetoes. Um, getting beyond my my other video log where I focused on university and I talked about the homeless issue and I talked about the uh, health care issues and you know and and how I agreed with others' observations in terms of the need to, uh, you know, try to make some of these things more efficient, more streamlined, and to, and to make it not just money for a program, but to actually make it for a money to make sure that that program is effective, you know, in terms of the funding. So, uh, in that other video log, I thought was really good, but that's, it's just, we're talking more about the university, my ideas, it's all good and great, but this is something, you know, that's just, it's a bigger picture, simple adjustment that is the solution.